So I went to the barber warehouse and I got me two Andy's Cool Care. There you go. Andy's Cool Care. Got me the Master Blue aftershave. I like the way it smells. This here is for when you shave somebody's face. It's like a blade glide. I got me a new flat comb white. I just liked it for some reason. <laughs> also got me the cover to my Andes, the Cobra, some new blades, brand new blades. Tell me, tell me that's not sexy, boy. Who, what barber you know got? Boy, sexy. Huh? See that? That's master barber right there. All right, and uh, so I got a. Walls senior reflections with the one and a half. See, it's a one guard. That's a one. Open is a one and a half. So that's what you're gonna do right here. Just what you're basically doing. You just do it, and then you stop. Probably like an inch up. See, an inch up. And you go all the way down like if it was a taper. Alright, so this is what it looks like before being faded up. Before you fade it up, see? See a line right here? And that's what you do. Alright, so what you do next with the same, same guard, same number one guard, you grab a flat comb. Like this, see? Mine, I use mine every day, so it's look, it looks jacked up. Anyways, you basically do a look. This right here. All the hairs that stick out, you cut with the one closed this time. All right. All right, now you, now you did it with the comb and the one, you basically did this. So now, move it up to a one and a half. You see how you still see a little line right there? It'll erase that. Watch this. Straight gone, you see? And if you want, you know, to touch it up, go back. To what you first did back to one and a half see that see and it fades it up fade the little line up so now it's fading into his longer hair Alright, so this is what his hair looks like after you fade in the shorter hair with the longer hair. Now what you do is you going to taper him up. You're going to give him a taper. See, he gets a shadow taper, which you can see his sideburn. You can also get a ball taper and cut all, all this off and then fade it into his hair. But he likes the shadow, so we're going to go with the shadow. Alright, so now I, I grab my Andes. Fade Masters. Now that's what I prefer. Well, you can use whatever clipper you have. See, you raise it up all the way. That's closed. That's raised up all the way. That's a half. So, go with the half. Right here. See that? So you see a line right there. See it? So you grab a half guard. You see, you can either use either one. The purple one's from my Andes. The gray one is from my walls. Either one. They're real cheap. This one's magnetic. And this one's not. What time I use my Andes? The purple one. Back to the cut. See, there goes my half guard. And then you put it 
put it in the middle, not all the way up, not all the way down. Okay, now you see this little line right here? You grab the comb and you do the same thing you did up here, but you do it right here. Alright, so now I grab my Andy's T outliner. That's just what I prefer, but you can use a wall, whatever brand, wall, uh, uh, Andy's, whatever. So now you just line them up like you normally would. You know what I mean? Start off, you know, with a sideburn to his edge up. You know what I mean? So, I'm gonna let y'all do that and I'll be right back. Alright, so after you taper them up, edge them up, that's what it's supposed to look like. Fades in, see? Faded into his hair. This is called a booty fade. It's not a shag. A shag is all this short and then basically stops back here this is a booty fade sounds weird but it's how we do it in Texas so uh, now you know how to do it and you have any questions any problems you know leave a comment subscribe like it you know uh, post the link on your uh, website Facebook Twitter whatever you want and uh, you know it's number love